begin tonight with the latest attempt at curbing violence around the state. Four major cities with gun buyback programs this weekend. News 12's Naomi Yana in East Orange, where 140 guns were turned in today, and officials hope more events like this will help reduce gun crimes. Naomi. Nick, that's right. As a country, we've seen an uptick in gun violence and recently the president even calling it an epidemic and a public health issue and vowing to throw support behind community violence intervention programs like gun buyback programs in hopes of reducing gun violence. Someone pulled out a gun, shot, and when everyone ran, he was the only one on the ground. Sharonda Wheeler yeah. lost her only child, 18-year-old Amar Simmons, to gun violence in 2007. The very thing that I was, uh, I feared that would take my son's life here in Newark took his life in Somerset, New Jersey. He was shot in the back. From gun violence in our local communities to mass shootings, we've seen an uptick in gun-related incidents in our nation. In 2019, there were over 14,000 homicides involving guns. And today, Newark, Patterson, Atlantic City, and East Orange all hosted gun buyback events. The awesome thing that did occur when we got here to court after nine, there was a line out the door already with citizens ready to turn in their weapons. Incoming. New Vision Full Gospel Baptist Church was the backdrop for today's event in East Orange. Residents coming in one at a time, turning in their old firearms for cash. No ID required, no questions asked. Pastor Victor Agui opened the church doors for the event because he says churches are trusted spaces in the community. We're to be a beacon on a hill and we're supposed to provide a safe place. Police officers were on hand for the trade-off and folks got up to $250 per firearm. And Captain Muse says this brings the city closer to being safe for everyone. They find a safe place to turn it in and they don't have to worry about becoming victims where someone may break into the house and steal the weapon and use it for some type of crime. If a buyback program was perhaps available or more readily accessible to kids and in communities, maybe something like this wouldn't have happened, you know. Only God knows where that handgun that took my son's life is today. Naomi, we know anyone can turn in guns anonymously, but is there an actual breakdown of who's doing it? So, Nick, the police captain told us what they've seen a lot of is um, relatives bringing back firearms that may belong to a relative who passed away and left it in the home, and it's just been there for many years. So those are the people um, a lot of times who are returning guns and just bringing them back to this buyback program, all really in hopes of making sure that those, those guns don't end up in the wrong hands. Naomi Yane live tonight in East Orange. Naomi, thank you.